wanted to go faster with my gas mechanical, so I've changed out some of the gears in the drive between the engine and the gearbox, and I'll show you what I've done. And you'll notice my hair's cut now because those other shots were done a little bit earlier. So anyway, let me show you what's happened here. Underneath the cab roof is the engine, Briggs and Stratton, three and a half horsepower engine here. And you can see the chain drive there. And you've got the centrifugal clutch here coming off the engine. You've then got a 10 sprocket gear here, chain driven to what used to be a 24 sprocket gear here, which transfers the power into the gearbox through that chain. So what I did was I changed out the 24 gear here for a 15 tooth gear. So if we do a little calculation here, I'll demonstrate what happened. You've got a 24 tooth sprocket divided by the new 15 tooth sprocket becomes 1.6. So 15 is 1.6 of 24. So then you take the 1.6 times by the 4.5 miles per hour I was doing with the original 24 tooth gear. And that equals 7.2 miles per hour. So it's not quite doubled, which is what I wanted. What I also figured was I've got a four-speed gearbox here. I'm always running it in top gear. If it's going too fast, I can always knock it back and run it at three, four miles an hour. Or I can run it in top speed and be really exciting. So let's run the train and see how fast it goes and see whether I can stay on and not fall off. Uh, I'll grow my hair longer, I'll change my shirt, and uh, let's go and have a bit of fun. So I've changed out the gears on the gas mechanical and I'm going to take it for a run around the yard. I'll set the camera up on a tripod and I'll just show you how fast I'm going. So here we go. about 87 miles an hour in this scale. A bit faster than a normal narrow gauge diesel would go at. So, whether I'll be able to sustain these kind of speeds without falling off, time will tell. Not only do you maintain the 7 miles an hour uphill, because it's a higher gear, there's less resistance in the gearbox, so it's 7, 7.5 miles an hour downhill, which makes it just as, just as frightening or just as exciting, depending on where you're going. Over and out.